This is a tutorial on how to cut a bottle and smooth it into a drinking glass. This is what you're going to need. Any type of bottle, emery cloth, which you can get at any kind of hardware store, polishing powder, Ephraim's bottle cutter, and two rubber bands. I'll put in the description below where you can buy all this kind of stuff. First, plug up your sink and fill it with hot water. Fill up the bottle and lay it in the bottom. This will make the label easy to peel off. Give it five minutes, empty it out, and peel the labels off. They should come off pretty easy, but sometimes you might need to peel them with a sponge or something. Now you have a fresh, clean bottle. This is the machine, the bottle cutter. This is all you need to cut it. This screw right here can be loosened so that this plate can move back and forth to make the glass bigger or smaller. You're going to lay the bottle right on these wheels like this. And now, bottom right, that's the cutting wheel right there. That's what's going to score the bottle. Push down on it <clears throat> and turn the bottle slowly. When you're done, you're going to have a score line that looks like this. Don't overlap it, and it should be nice and even all the way around. Next, put these two band-aids, band-aids, put these two rubber bands around the bottle. This is like a little trick that I've done and learned that it works really well. Make them even and about a quarter of an inch away from the score line. See the score line right there? Just make like a little alleyway. Next, you're going to boil some water. I don't have a teapot, so I'm using this pot and I'm dumping it into this other vessel here because you need something with a spout and a handle on it. Put the bottle in the sink and now you're going to take the hot water and you're going to pour it gently over the score line in between the two rubber bands. Just a small stream of water and slowly turn the bottle. This is going to heat the glass. Once the glass gets really, really hot, you're going to run it under cold water, as cold as you can make your sink. This is going to cause a stress fracture, and the glass will start to crack. Run it under the hot water one last time, try to get the entire area, and the next time you put it under the cold water, pop. Clean it off so there's no little jagged pieces of glass, and this is what you're left with. Now, it's very rough and very raw, and you got a lot of sanding to do. So we take the polishing powder. The polishing powder is like very fine sand from like a beach, some kind of magical beach. Pour it down on a mat or a plate or a piece of glass. Just like that much is good, probably like a capful, I guess. Put a little bit of water, take the glass, turn it, <coughs> and rub it down on top. This is gonna start to smooth and grind the raw glass down. Now I cleaned it and you can see all the shiny spots are the spots that need to be sanded down. They're the very sharp and raw spots. So do it again. Keep on doing it. See? Now there's even less. You gotta keep at this and those spots will disappear. One more time. Don't give up. Keep on going. And now you have a final smooth top that's nice and even all the way around. Next, you take the emery cloth. This is like a sandpaper, but for glass. You're going to take this cloth and you're going to rub it along the sides, the inside and the outside. This is going to smooth it so that when you drink, it doesn't bother your lips. When you're done, your glass should look like this, a fully functioning drinking glass that you should be able to have for the rest of your life. Thanks for watching.